Um, why don't we move on to something that we're all brandishing today? Yes. Uh, yes. The chest harness. The Tell, chest let's harness. let's go around the table here and, and talk about these lovely chest harnesses. Well, I am wearing a white leather. White leather. White leather. White leather. White leather. I love this leather. White leather, it's just like, you know, 80s. Yeah, like white leather metal is bands. Eight, yeah, and yeah, stuff 80s and, like hair metal. Like, yeah, yeah, white leather rock. Like white leather <laughs> fringe. I picture like a yeah. white leather jacket with like fringe on it. Mm-hmm. When I yeah. think white leather, yeah. I I always and like I might be dating myself here, but there used <laughs> to be this club called Rock and Roll Heaven mm-hmm. up at uh, Young and Bluer, mm-hmm. and I remember walk. I was too young to go into it, but I remember walking by it and seeing all like. The cute girls the and the guys, blonde, yes, hair, cr- pinked out hair, pink eyeshadow, and like you know, frosted lips, mm-hmm. and wearing their white leather, yeah. and I, I just love it. So this is a cross chest harness, and I had made some white leather ruffles to go with it. Yeah, but uh, the the white leather ruffles went to somebody on for pride. Yes. Um. So yeah. So these uh, they're removable, obviously. They're removable, and we the, make them as like. Size like again, we make them as you size people. Yeah, for we them. size people, but you know we have like two sizes. A size one size fits most, mm-hmm. um, and they're fun to wear. And they can like, come with ruffles, or they can yeah. take you off, take them off. Yep, like you're wearing one not with the ruffles, and we've got another one here. Yes, that also I've worn in a photo shoot. Yes, and it looked fabulous. This is amazing. Yeah, show show that off there. Okay. Well, this has um, snakeskin mm-hmm. and red leather and golden and spikes. Spikes. And these are these ruffles are removable. Yeah. Because you know sometimes you need ruffles and sometimes sometimes you don't need you ruffles. don't. You want to keep it a little casual, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and um, we've also done fringe. Um, we did a show recently, mm-hmm. and I had made made a cro- like a cross chest harness with removable like 16 inch fringe yeah which was amazing yeah it was so nice to like twirl in 16 inches long yeah it's pretty long (laughs) the long fringe i was totally fabulous yeah (laughs) and somebody wanted a chest harness and wanted to try it on but wanted to try it on without the fringe the fringe i know it was it it hurt me and I mean, we were making a sale. She bought it <laughs> without the fringe. Without the fringe, no, so my sad. heart still hurts a little bit. I'm like, how could you not want the fringe? Like, <laughs> it's the best part. what's wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Who what hurt you? <laughs> yeah, what happened to you, honey? <laughs> to you each could, their own. Yeah, to, to each, each their own. own. But you can, since it's removable, you could just yeah, remove just it, and then on. you oh, can yeah. put it on another one yeah. at another time, exactly. right? Yeah. So Eli, what are you wearing? So today I'm sporting the. <laughs> the Pyramid stud ruffle single buckle bulldog. Goodness. Goodness. Yep. And you can see too that it's got a double tier of ruffles here because sometimes one tier will not do. Well, you it's need not two. enough. <laughs> and I should mention too that ruffles are for everyone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not just for female identified people. For sure. Yeah. It they're, looks hot as hell they're... on you. <laughs> so good. So good. And I don't know. One thing I really love about this harness is ease of. Yes. Donning and doffing it. Yes, donning and doffing. Yeah, yes. because it only has yeah, the show one us. buckle. Yeah, one buckle. Essentially, you put it on like a little vest, and it's off. Yeah, Just, or a little backpack. Yeah, a little yeah. backpack. Yeah, it's, it's off, and then and it's one back buckle. on. So easy. And oh, I love this. Now this is this is our size that I would say would be kind of our medium to large size. Yeah. So mm-hmm. it's a little big on me. Yeah. If I was going to wear it for play, I'd like I like my harness as a little more tighter, tight a little fitting. A little, yeah. Just Snugger. so if someone like grabs it, it's not yes moving. Yeah, you got a bit of room too there. far off of my body. Yeah. But I mean, something like this, you can still I I could still play in this. Yeah. And no, it looks like your prance or prance. <laughs> Generally, well, I prance. And well, I could graze. I could graze in this. <laughs> yes, no. We've got enough room to graze. Um, but they're super fun. And this is in our gunmetal metallic. Oh, and that's that soft. Yeah, it's metallic super leather. soft. Oh. Yeah. And again, like we were talking about, the ruffles come off. Yep, you can yep. come off. And, and if you wanted to, you could flag with the ruffles. You could like. Just wear the left one. Yeah. Just wear the right one. Yeah. Or inter- you could wear a ruffle and a fringe. Oh, 
if oh. you wanted. Oh, <laughs> customizable. <laughs> oh, my God. And the one you're wearing, Deb, that's a little bit of a, a um, firmer leather. Uh, does it have or um, is it the same it's, of softness? This one is actually this leather is a little thinner than this. A little leather. thinner. OK. Um, But it does not thinner. Maybe it's just. Yeah, it's a little thinner. It has like. This is more of a soft temper, mm -hmm. um, which means it kind of like you can kind of wrinkle it like. Oh, yeah. OK. And, but this is it, like it. It doesn't really like hold shape. It, it, yeah, it's I guess the finish is slightly stiffer. This is more of an upholstery yeah. type leather. May I feel? Yes, of course. Whereas this is like kind of slightly more of a garment leather. Would yeah, you say? Well, there's a big difference in yeah, the way yeah, it feels. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. When you talk yeah. about the hand of the leather, which is yeah. like how it feels in your hand when you have the whole hide and you kind of grab it in your hand and yeah, and pull it up, pull it like, up, like mm -hmm. like you would Does with it... a piece of material or, or the back yeah. of a cat's neck. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the scruff of a cat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the scruff. Yeah. The scruff of the leather. The scruff. Yeah. That's called the hand of yeah, the leather. The hand. Yeah. What kind of oh. a hand the leather? Yeah. Has. Getting all technical. Okay. Like what? The, what am I wearing? Uh, well, you're wearing. So that leather is a little thinner, but it is a stiff temper. Yes. And yeah. um, it was, it was an impulse purchase. I loved the color so much, and uh, so it's um, it's a sapisi leather, which oh, wow. is a. a fancy leather from Italy from Italy oh. um and I and I got history that. lesson yeah and no. I and uh <laughs> and the edges of that so with the the harnesses Eli and I are wearing mm -hmm. or these the we cut the leather and then we fold it down the back mm -hmm. so it's a strap mm -hmm. with this uh it's not folded it's so I we cut at mm -hmm. an inch and a half which is the width of it and then the other the backing piece is cut slightly wider and then we stitch it and then we cut the excess off which gives you a nice like clean edge mm -hmm. rather than the folded edge that yes. you guys are fashioning and yes. then and then uh paint the edges with some edge coat Oh, you to, did? Yeah. Just to give it the nice, yeah. like, finish like a nice dark. finish. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Since we're talking about chest harnesses, so what type of play can one get up to with a chest harness? Well, <laughs> I mean, if you like to be manhandled and tossed around, and I do, whoever is doing the manhandling or yes. person handling, yes, the person handling, the human handling, the human you know, handling. you can <laughs> use the chest harness as a really nice handle. Yes, yeah. handle. Something to hang on to that's not like your upper arm or another part of your body. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. you can you really... It's easy to grab on to. And you can also attach people via the chest harness mm -hmm. to objects or, or other, other people. people. Yes, other people! <laughs> <laughs> Puddle of people. Yeah. The whole, yeah, a whole link of whole chain smoke. <laughs> Daisy chain. Daisy <laughs> chain. <laughs> Touched at the chest because we've got some pretty big rings there. On this one, On, there's an yeah. inch and a half ring. Yeah. I think that's the inch and no, this is an inch. No, this is an inch and a half. That's an yeah, inch and a half. Inch and a yeah. yeah. You've got, got a one inch ones. I feel like dildos could fit oh yeah oh yeah yeah and these ones yeah yeah, totally. yeah um when i talk about uh photo shoots that we want to do for our website and when we get the website up yeah um i always want um like dildos everywhere i want yeah. like two two boot harnesses two thigh harnesses <laughs> chest harness gotta keep it symmetrical yeah maybe some, maybe some <laughs> like epaulets <laughs> do and... the epaulets oh my god just like this yeah. Yeah, oh and God. I want them to be huge. <laughs> I mean, I got a pretty big uh, rainbow dildo that that might work. Well, but I could loan you guys. <laughs> I, we have a friend who makes um, dildos, <gasps> tentacle dildos, but she also does like unicorn horns and. Are we talking about Shay right now? We are talking about <laughs> Shay Love Crafters. Um, and I was I was wanting... gonna ask you what's your favorite dildos to put in your harnesses well I have one that I've ha had for a while mm -hmm. and um, like Tantus no it's Eros um, oh yeah 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 and it's like just a little silver dildo um, 
because when I was like I was dating cis men for a while and they all want to be pegged even though they <laughs> say they don't but they all want to be pegged <laughs> but they all think they can be pegged <laughs> with a giant no, dildo you can't it's like you need a, a yeah. slim it's it's like no texture on it. Yeah, it's yeah. like and as much lube as possible. <laughs> More than enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too much. And too much. Too much. Too it's much just lube. enough. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Um. <laughs> mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. it. It. You know, I have never thought felt the need to get a bigger one, mm. and even that one is a little too big for some assholes. Mm-hmm. Um. <laughs> 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 some assholes yeah you know. <laughs> how about you eli favorite dildos to use in your uh, harnesses mm, i've got quite a collection <laughs> yeah. do i, I know, have to i don't pick know that i have one? a favorite my the one that i haven't really gotten to use much is enormous <laughs> it's like kind of the most ridiculous thing ever and i bought it on a whim kind of an impulse purchase (laughs) and it just it sits in my little like dildo dildo area cabinet (laughs) kind of glowing like the like the white stratocaster Uh, in that uh that wayne's world in wayne's world yeah yeah like uh, kind of glows i have yet to find the right person to use it with right but fit. i know i know it will come along <laughs> it will it will be who mine. made it do you know the company oh it's a company in the states i can't some off, random yeah some random. right off the top of my head i can't remember the name of it but yeah. it's like epic 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 and f- fabulous well on this fabulous and epic end <laughs> um <laughs> I feel like it's about time to wrap up. Oh. Time flies. I'm like so fast. When we're having so fun. fun. When you're having fun. You might when have you're... to do it again. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Next time we'll bring the bondage belt. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. And other things, I'm and sure. Other, and other yeah. things. Um, we're always innovating. Yeah. Do you have anything um, that's coming up that you want to tell people about? Um. Well, I, I haven't confirmed or talked to them yet, but I know... Um, Discreet Odyssey? Yes. Yes, Discreet Odyssey. Lady is, Grey. Yes. Yes. Discreet yes. Odyssey. Yes. She's a babe. Babe, total babe. Um, Uber babe. Uber babe. Uber. And um, they're having another one of their kinky craft fa- sales on the 21st of July. I have to check in. Um, yeah. So if we get into that, we like, it was a it's a great space. Yeah, and I, I believe she's planning on doing that regularly. Yeah. So if you happen to not be at that specific one, yeah. I know she wants to do it regularly. Yes. So if you go to like Discreet Odyssey, you know, uh, social media, then you'll be able to see these yeah. kinky fairs. You guys do a lot of fairs and stuff. We try to, A lot to, of booths you know? and stuff, yeah. It's, You're yeah. around. Well, yeah, it's... If people want to see you in person rather yeah. than yeah. just going to your social media. You're around. Oh, yeah. 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 And we're delightful. And you're so. great. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I mean, not and to modest be. too. Yeah, very yeah, modest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you want to tell people all your social media stuff, where they can find you, follow you, purchase your products? Uh, yes, you can find us on Facebook at mm-hmm. Unicorn Collaborators, Instagram at Unicorn Collaborators, and Twitter. Uh, I don't really use Twitter a lot, and I find it confusing <laughs> sometimes. But you I can also find us. Qu- on... Haven't quite got the handle. Yeah, of Twitter. I'm yeah, just I don't like, know what I'm doing. A lot of things happening and. <laughs> But you're you collaborators. You right? collaborators, yes. yeah. yeah. And yeah. that email again is unicorncollaborators at gmail.com. Yes. yes. And we have an Etsy store uh, at Unicorn Collaborators, all one word, like yeah. capital U, no space, mm-hmm. capital C. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's kind of a work in progress mm-hmm. right yeah. now. It's a little rough at the moment. Yeah. But, but you're on cummiesur.com. Are you yes. anywhere else? Um, uh, we will be at Seduction mm-hmm. very soon. Mm-hmm. Um, and there was, uh, we got contacted by another store in London, Ontario. And it's a queer owned, um, I don't know a lot about it. And they actu- they haven't placed an order yet. But I love their name so much. It's called A Spot of Delight. A Spot of Delight. 